Welcome everyone to another commentary, and I'm bringing more Project M. These are some replays that I got just before the Wi-Fi shut down. And I know I could be doing Weemfy, but sorry, my connection just doesn't agree with me with Weemfy for some other reason. Maybe it's the neck gear, which is the router I got set up, the newer one. For some reason it's causing some problems with the Wii. Maybe it's Weemfy. That's what someone told me, it's Weemfy, TB TechWiz. Oh well, I will show you some more replays and some other matches from what I get from offline. It'll be this, and after some Project M, it'll be Brawl Minus Offline, and I'll try to show you the most exciting stuff that I can, and try to make it as entertaining as possible for it to be offline with CPUs. But alright, to the topic at hand. I'm continuing my President's commentary, and we're at number 7, the infamous Andrew Jackson. He was definitely a notable president in history. And if you didn't know, he's the one on the $20 bill. Should have been obvious by now. But he's very controversial. He was probably the most racist president. So whether I can say that or not, I've tried to look up more on the president. There's not too much that I can really say against him being racist other than a supporter of slavery. Anyways, he seemed to have had some accomplishments. So, let us just see what he did as the 7th president of the U.S., or at least, what he was most infamous for. Andrew Jackson wasn't the first or last politician to have a strict regard for truth. Rumors of his birth in a log cabin were very exaggerated. Even so, he didn't come from the WASP elite. I'm not sure what the WASP elite means, but... You know, just tell me if you know. But anyways, the WASP elite, whose grip over American political life had been strong until now. Understandably, his bitterness was increased when he saw Quincy Adams apparently steal the 1824 election. When he went back to Tennessee to lick his wounds, he set himself as head of an army called the Jackson Men. They were salt of the earth salt, small farmers, as, as well as lumberjacks and laborers. They were determined to wrest power from the new American ar aristocracy. Another, a big nickname for Andrew Jackson was Old Hickory. To him, he belonged to the dubious honor of establishing that tradition in American political life in which rich, educated sons of privilege pretend to like nothing better than beer and NASCAR. Jackson set, him, set himself up as the Joe Sixpack of his age. There have been worse crimes in U.S. history, of course, but he, in fact, committed one of them himself when, a year into his first term, he signed the Indian Removal Act into law. The Supreme Court insisted that the Native Americans of the new states, beyond the Appalachians, had the right to stay where they are, but Jackson overrode their legal judgment, ordering them to march out of their ancestral lands in thousands. If Jackson ever was to defend the little guy, he had to be white, so it was liberty for all except African Americans. He was against any reform to the laws of slavery. With all of his small d democratic swagger, Jackson didn't have too much time for capital D democracy. He used the veto more than any previous president at the time. Jackson's first lady didn't have him as his first husband. It was surprising in a time where women were expected to be virgin brides. Worse for him was the ambiguity when she got divorced, which was on par with the other thing, when divorces were so rare that its ins and outs were barely understood. In short, her marriage to Jackson was believed to have been bigamous. She was kicked out of her house in 1788, and divorce proceedings were underway. No doubt she loved Jackson in the beginning, when she eloped with her with him in 1791. The two, Jackson and Rachel, didn't convince everyone they were married then, and Rachel's divorce didn't come through until 1792. Regardless, they were forced to marry a second time in 1794. Even during Jackson's presidency, the whispering didn't stop. He had a strong sense of pride and great passion for his wife, and would fly off the handle at any remark about Rachel's honor. A large number of fights resulted, and no less than 13 formal duels, which of course were with guns. One in 1806 almost ended badly. The attorney, Charles Dickinson, wounded Jackson back then before being killed himself. He was lucky to be alive since Dickinson nearly missed his heart. Jackson was so full of bullets, it was said that he rattled. 
Needless to say, Old Hickory was unstoppable. Not only did he come through 13 duels, but on January 30th, 1835, he survived the first ever assassination attempt on a U.S. president. His assailant had two pistols, both miraculously, both misfired. One hell of a survivor, Jackson was. Jackson does deserve credit with moving the country forward with the IRA, the Indian, well, Indian Removal Act. Though it was cruel and unconstitutional, it helped American life expand. I suggest you learn more about the aftermath of the law, the Trail of Tears, to learn more. Jackson should have at least planned to have provided food and shelter to properly migrate the natives and the conditions they had to go through. But Jackson had said that it would do the world a favor if the savages were all to be killed off. That's what I've heard, but on the internet, I haven't been able to find any quote against for uh, such a thing. I've only been able to find quotes saying that it was completely necessary the Indians had to move. Nothing against them being savages and it were better that they all die off. But I digress. If you can find it, you can try and look it up for yourself, because I couldn't. But that was only something that I heard through rumor. Anyway, Zeke, Andrew Jackson can also be credited to being the most racist U.S. president in history, possibly. But he sure knew how to fight and survive. I don't like Jackson much for the fact that he was, well, kind of Hitler-like. Small key hit. But you can decide for yourself what you think of Jackson. But it wasn't under his watch that the Trail of Tears happened. It was the next ones. The Vice President of Andrew Jackson, which we will get to in the next video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary on the presidents. So, comment, rate, subscribe, do whatever you want, your choice, and enjoy the rest of this boss battles on Intense with Ganondorf. Ready?